Welcome to Health Facts with Dr. Dinesh. In this video, we're going to find out how long viral shedding continues after the symptoms started in patients with COVID-19 infection and when the most viral transmission happens in these patients. And should you still wear a mask and maintain social distancing as the restrictions are lifted? In this study that published in Science Publication on a May 20th, 2020, titled Quantifying SARS-CoV-2 Transmission Suggests Epidemic Control with Digital Contact Tracing. They analyzed 40 well-characterized source recipient pairs, which means infector and infectee. Uh, the distribution had a median of five days and a standard deviation of 1.9 days. They found 48% of transmission happened from a pre-symptomatic period uh, in Singapore, and 62% of these transmissions happened in Tianjin, China, um, and also 44% in transmission happened in various countries uh, from pre-symptomatic period. So the highest transmission of COVID-19 happened in pre-symptomatic uh, period. This other study published in Nature Medicine in April 15, 2020, uh, titled Temporal Dynamics in Viral Shedding and Transmissibility of COVID-19. They studied viral shedding in 94 patients with COVID-19 and different patterns. Viral shedding has been declined until it completely stopped in day 21st in most of the cases, but there are some very, very few cases that is actually have uh, has a jump in day 28, as you can see. The pattern of uh, viral shedding in mild or severe cases uh, were almost the same as you can see here. And uh, in patients over 65 or less than 65 are almost the same. Also, there's not much difference between female and male in viral shedding. As you can see, the red line is uh, for female and blue line is for male. So the good news is that viral shedding mostly happens up to 21st day or three weeks after the first symptoms. However, what makes COVID-19 infection less controllable is that most of the transmission happens even up to two days before the symptoms started. In other words, we shouldn't be fearful of patients who already had COVID-19 infection after three weeks because the transmissibility is a lot less after 21st day, but we still need to use PPE and social distancing since the most transmission happens before symptoms started. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video and find it beneficial, please share it in your social media and uh, to your friend and families. And uh, like always, stay happy and healthy. Thanks and have a great day.